Hi, I'm Ricky, and I have the most obnoxious father of all time. My dad thinks he's the hottest man out there. He just doesn't know that girls are all over him because he's a millionaire. That's all. He brings a new girl every week, never the same girl twice. This week, however, he brought a very ugly woman, Shannon. She was thin like a paperclip, wearing too much makeup, and spoke like a drunk old woman. On our first meeting, she said to me, Oh, I'm only sorry that you are 20 years younger than me. Ew! Then she and my dad laughed disgustingly. I didn't know why my father would date a woman like that. I mean, I'm used to him picking hot blonde 20-year-olds, like Shannon's daughter, Jessie. Jessie was so hot. She had the most gorgeous body and the most beautiful blue eyes you could ever see. I couldn't get my eyes off her. The four of us had dinner at an expensive restaurant. Dad said, we should let the kids meet before we go over anything serious. What? I hope that Dad is not planning to marry Shannon. I want to date Jessie so bad. If she becomes my stepsister, then it would be awkward and somewhat nasty. I couldn't ask him over dinner because I didn't want to embarrass them. But when the women went to the restroom, I leaned over and asked, Hey, Dad, are you really going to marry Shannon? And he responded, Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm marrying her daughter, Jessie. My heart stopped. I screamed, What? That girl is my age. You are 30 years older than her. And he said, Oh, what do you know? It's my life. Plus, she likes me too. A lot. I felt sick to my stomach, and I felt disgusted with Jessie. Why would she do that to herself, marrying a thirsty old man like my obnoxious father? But when the women came back to the table, I noticed that Jessie was not herself. It was obvious that she had been crying. I also paid attention that her mom wasn't allowing her to speak. She finished all her sentences. When Dad asked Jessie, so, where do you prefer the wedding to be? Jessie was about to open her mouth to answer, but her mom immediately interrupted and said, At the Four Seasons Hotel, of course. Jessie looked pissed, but she kept quiet, and I began to understand the whole thing. They are forcing her into marriage. I felt really bad for her. The next day, Jessie was at our place. She wanted to meet with the wedding planner to discuss wedding details. When they finished, I came into the room and asked her, Why are you doing this? She was quiet for a few moments and then said, Two million dollars. I gasped. Two million dollars? What do you mean? She explained, My mom is making me do it. She's in debt and desperately needs the money to start over. Your dad is paying me two million dollars to marry him for a few years. That sick, sick man. Then, unexpectedly, Jesse turned to me, kissed me passionately and said, But I like you though. I want you. Can we do something about it? I liked her too, so I kissed her again. When we finished, I said, You know, we could run away. Her eyes lit up. But we need money. I don't think we both have enough. I told her that I had a plan. You should convince my dad to give you half the money before the wedding. That's the only way we could get away. Then she came closer and kissed me again and said that she'll think about it. I was more determined to find a solution and run away. At night, I went to my dad's office to steal his money. I wasn't going to let him marry Jesse. I stole $20,000 from his safe and sent a message to Jesse asking her to meet me at the airport. We were very excited to get on the plane. We rented a small, cozy apartment to spend our time. When Jesse entered the bedroom, I had a bed full of red roses with candles waiting for her. She looked surprised, and before she said a word, I grabbed her and kissed her. By that point, I've been dying for this moment to happen. Jessie kissed me back and told me that she loved me. We took things to bed, and I guess you can figure out what happened after. Life was pretty sweet. Until one day, I went out to buy some food, and when I got back, I didn't find Jessie. I called her and sent her messages on her phone, but she wasn't there. Where did she go? When I sat on the bed, I noticed there was a piece of paper there. It said, Thank you for getting me out of there, but we are not meant for each other. I blanked for a few moments. She must be joking. I checked my bag, and she left me with a thousand dollars. What? I got tricked by a witch. I sat on my bed thinking of what to do. One thousand dollars are not enough to cover my expenses. And I knew I could not go back to Dad. He would have probably figured out by now that I ran away with Jesse. I mean, we did disappear at the same time. I spent two days thinking about my situation. 
when I noticed a wealthy lady entering the restaurant where I was having my lunch. And it hit me. Why can't I be a gold digger? I mean, girls do it all the time. And without any hesitation, I sought that woman. Her name was Janet, and she was 50 years old. I followed her for a week to know where she spends most of her time, and I started hitting on her. Then one time, when she was having coffee in the park, I sat next to her and said, What a lucky cup of coffee. And she blushed, just like little girls. We started talking, and soon I was in bed at her house. We dated for a while before she asked, Can you come and live with me? I'd be happy to, I said. So I ended up moving with her. She spent her money on me. She bought me all the things I need, including a brand new Mercedes. But then, three months later, Janet came to me and said, I need you to come with me to a wedding. Sure, babe, I said. Anything for you. And we went there. And oh my God, it was my dad's wedding to Jesse. How is that? I came close and dad said, Hey son, where have you been? I tried calling you several times. I thought you were on a trip or something. So dad doesn't know anything about it? And then I looked at Jesse and said, Hi, I hope you're happy about marrying my dad. She didn't say anything, but dad responded, Yeah, she is. And congratulations, you're going to become a big brother. Pregnant? She must be kidding. I couldn't believe her lies. She's been planning this all along. She wanted me out of the house so she could get the wealth all to herself and her new boy. I was furious. She manipulated both of us. I couldn't let that go by, so I decided to get revenge. During the party, I raised my glass and said, Can I have your attention, please? Everyone looked at me, including Jesse, who was really nervous. I said, You know, Dad and I have the same taste. We even dated the same woman. She ran away with me for a week before she came back to marry him. Silence filled the room. Guests looked shocked. Jesse left the room. Dad looked angry and disappointed. I ruined the wedding for the second time, but I was proud of it. As bad as my dad was, he doesn't deserve to be fooled. This time, however, I was completely alone. I had to live on my own. Dad kicked me out of the house, and I had practically nothing, and Janet refused to take me back. I got a job and lived in a small apartment for two years before I heard the terrible news from my dad's lawyer. Your dad passed away. Tears started falling from my eyes. I hadn't had the chance to make amends with him. But then the lawyer continued. He left you all his money. I went back to our house and took over his company. In a few years, I became a very successful businessman. I got married to a beautiful woman and had three beautiful children. Life was going okay. But then, 20 years later, I was interviewing new employees for the company and a handsome man called William showed up. After we finished the interview, I asked him, You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? He smiled and said, I don't think so, sir, but you may know my mother. She's a successful businesswoman, too. What's her name? I asked. Jesse Smith, he responded. Then he said, Thanks for having me. I'll be happy to hear from you. Jesse, did she get married? Wait, was she really pregnant at that time? Did I just meet my brother? I looked up her picture on Google, and yes, it was her. I had to know the truth, so I decided to meet her. I looked her up on the internet and went to her company. I told the secretary that I wanted to meet her, but without mentioning my real name. I went to her office, and when she saw me, she gasped and said, What are you doing here? I just want to know the truth, I said. Is William my brother? She stared at me for a few moments and said, Actually, he's your son. You are lying, I screamed. And she responded coldly, No, I'm not. I found out I was pregnant the same week we ran away. I hadn't had any relationships with your father. Then why did you go back to marry him, I asked. She sighed and said, I didn't want the baby to have the life I lived. You didn't have enough money. I thought your dad was a better provider than you. He could buy me and the baby everything. I sat on the chair. I needed a moment to take that all in. Does William know about this? I asked in a shaking voice. She freaked out and said, No, he doesn't. He thinks that his father is my husband who died two years ago. Don't you dare mention that to him. Are you crazy? You couldn't think of a better lie, I yelled. No, and I prefer keeping things the way they are, she yelled back. I got out of the office and called William and told him, Hey, I hired you for the job. And here we are. My son is working for me. Every day I see him, but I don't have the courage to tell him I'm his father. Did you like my story? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. 
and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more.